Alrighty, welcome to the day and age when a theme park can't announce a 300 foot tall steel structure with amazing elements and have excitement. <laughs> so obviously Orion was announced yesterday at Kings Island at 10 p.m. And boy, have I seen some of the dumbest comments online about this coaster. Everyone is, and I'm not, sorry, I shouldn't say everyone. A lot of people are focusing on the negatives versus the positives. People are trying to find every little detail about this coaster and completely shit on it. And it's getting really annoying. I'm seeing posts about like temperature change, decreasing the height of the coaster. Get over yourselves. It's a 300 and one foot from what I understand drop. It's 300.9. Um, foot drop. It's amazing. It's something Kings Island needed. It's something the Kings Island fans have wanted for ages. And let them have it. It's an amazing coaster. It looks slightly better than Leviathan. And Leviathan is my favorite ride at Canada's Wonderland, which tells me it's going to be an amazing coaster. If you can't hear it in my voice, I'm really triggered right now. I'm really triggered. I went through this with Yukon Striker last season, okay? I went through it. People were completely crapping on Yukon Striker. Oh, it's just a dive coaster. The vests ruin the dive coaster, blah, blah, blah. And here we are again. And we're sitting here wondering why parks don't invite enthusiasts um, onto the media list for parks um, and uh, are starting to exclude me. Um, sorry, enthusiasts from media events. There's a reason for it. It's because a lot of you act like you are entitled to this Strata T-Rex hybrid super looping multi record breaking coaster every year at your home park. And when they announce something amazing, you either boo or completely go online behind a white screen and hide your identity and completely shit on a ride. Now that that's done, now that I vented, let's go over Orion. So Orion is a giga coaster that was announced for Kings Island for the 2020 season, and it's exactly what Kings Island needed. It looks amazing. It's got elements that I wish um, Leviathan had. It's got a taller speed hill, which looks absolutely amazing. Um, it's got like this Amberson element that doesn't fully look like an Amberson, but it's that's that one element that I really wish Leviathan had as a turnaround. Leviathan has that typical kind of like hammerhead turnaround, and I wish it had the Amerson um, element. And correct me down below if I'm mispronouncing everything. Again, everyone who watches my channel knows I am slightly more GP than every coaster YouTuber out there and fully aware of it. But nonetheless, it's a 301 foot drop. It's 287 feet tall. And no, the argument of is it a hyper or is it a giga isn't valid. It has a giga drop. BNM doesn't even classify Giga Coasters, so regardless, it's a hyper coaster that is a Giga Coaster, according to enthusiasts. I don't think there's a valid argument to declare it's not a Giga Coaster. And for those of you literally looking um, to find any negative detail about this coaster, just stop. Just let Kings Island fans and all the rest of us enjoy this amazing steel coaster. This is like seven and a half hours away from me. I will definitely be there next year riding this, and I'm definitely going to like it more than Leviathan, and it's definitely going to probably be my favorite ride at the park. And uh, it just looks all together amazing. And good job, Kings Island, for finally getting the Giga Coaster. Since the Giga written in the snow a couple years back, I remember that. Um, it's just super exciting. Congratulations to all you Kings Island fans for finally getting uh, the Giga Coaster. And uh, it honestly looks amazing. Guess the brake runs long, but that's because it doesn't have a mid-course brake run. And guess what? I mean, fingers crossed, it doesn't have trims by the looks of it. This looks amazing. So altogether, an amazing attraction. Um, I know this was a quick analysis. Hopefully you really enjoyed it. Um, I just wanted to get out my uh, event, exactly everything that I've been thinking. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.